The Dark Side Detective pays homage to the occult in old school adventure games. The sleepy town of Twin Lake City is experiencing a set of paranormal activity, so spooky expert Detective Francis McQueen is summoned to solve the mystery and is accompanied by Officer Dooley. The game is treated like a mini series of a show. There are six case files to choose from, all with their own stories intact, like locating a missing daughter or figuring out why a library is being haunted by ghosts. They are self contained, but everything eventually adds up, well, some. Somewhat. It's not going to be a big payoff, but that's not really the strength of what makes this game good. It's the writing, specifically the interactions between McQueen and Dooley and the rest of the NPCs scattered throughout the six cases. Clever puns and observational humor are abound. They're not going to make you die laughing, but they are clever. It's what drove me forward. In a word, you could call playing the Dark Side Detective fun, not in a gameplay sense, because it's just a point and click adventure game. There's not much to your user interface and you can't freely move around. It's pretty simple actually, save for a few different puzzle types, including glyphs on a gateway or moving around pipes. And like classic adventure games, you're probably going to be stumped on how to proceed on more than one occasion, as some of the riddles are a bit sporadic in their nature. In fact, most of these episodes can be solved in less than 30 minutes if you know what you're doing, which connects itself nicely, again, to the TV-like structure. The lack of complexity and like shouldn't worry you though. When I said this game was fun, I meant it was fun in the sense that I enjoyed being a part of this world. The Dark Side Detective isn't the most original in terms of its caseload, the mysteries aren't going to make you say aha at the end of them, they're more like scenery dressing for the jokes, which again are fantastic. 13 bucks is kind of an odd price, but I think that in itself is a joke. Regardless, it may not be the most ambitious in terms of gameplay or presentation, so I guess, in a way, I can't reward it completely, but I found it worth a playthrough for the comedy alone. My name is Tristan, and you've been watching Reaction Examiner, where I do my best to create interesting videos to entertain and educate you fine folks. Be sure to subscribe, that helped me out a lot. And if you want to check out more, be sure to read my work over on The Gamer, where I write fun little listicles. You can also drop by my personal website, Game Jerk, where I post other articles and reviews. All these links and more can be found in the description below. Thanks, and see you all next time.